So let's talk about haddock. Well, they're now saying that they can't find any small haddock. Well, here's the thing with haddock. Primarily, if you want to catch a small haddock or see smaller haddock, you have to tow at night. That's why, after all these years that I've been towing around, chasing haddock around, I've noticed that once the sun goes down, school gets out. And when I mean school gets out, that means all the little kitties come to bottom. And generally the bigger male, the bigger fish, will go up in the water. I go, and then when the daylight strikes, that's generally when the bigger run comes back to bottom and the smaller run goes back up in the water. You generally don't see the smaller run up in the water. They tend to disperse and you really can't even see them on your screen. But trust me, they're there. Uh, that's the difference, especially on the edge of Georges, when you're towing during the daylight, you know, and your average discard rate will probably be under 1% because the run is bigger. And at night, amazingly enough, when everything comes to bottom in the dark, even the small fish, the screens light right up. So where you weren't seeing anything up in the water, it sounds on, somehow within an hour or two after the sun goes down, they magically start appearing on the screen and then they plaster the bottom. And that is when the little fish come to bottom to do their feeding. Obviously they don't want to be down there on the bottom with the bigger fish during the daytime because they end up on the dinner menu. You get what I'm saying? So, same thing. If that was a haddock, well let's just say we were in 20 fathom of water. Well, that haddock could stay right up in that school all day long until maybe a slack water. Now during a slack water, it could be a low water slack, the fish, tides are not running as hard, fish will come down to bottom and feed. Now an hour or so after slack water, the tide starts going the other way, these fish will go up into the water. Same thing, maybe the next slack water, they'll come back down again do some more feeding and maybe they'll only touch down just for that uh, small amount of time during that hour or two. That's the difference between big bags and little bags. I mean I've towed across bottoms multiple times. had about 500 pounds of fish you know just randomly towing or you can target and wait for the for your catch to come to bottom where I can actually harvest. You know that's a matter of patience and putting the time in or watching that's the problem with assumption models and these random toes you know they're there for 20 minutes but they're not spending the time to work on the fish during the slack waters with a high slack or the full moons you know during the full moon cycles that enforces breeding cycles and everything else or during a full moon maybe the sand eels will hatch and when they hatch guess what haddock loves sand eels amazing they'll group on them now, like I said, if you used a random tow with a predetermined tow that said you had to tow 70 fathom, but yet the sand eels were hatching in 35 fathom, now how would towing in 70 fathom tell you anything about the mass of the biomass of the fish schools that are feeding on the sand eels, which would be a 35 fathom? Again, that's why randomness does not predetermined tows do not work.